Okay, we're going to look at the hand on, on this particular lecture uh, review. So this is an anterior view. Okay, an anterior view. So let's zoom in. So this is this person's right hand. These are the carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Okay, on the posterior side, right hand again, carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Okay, try not to confuse those on a test and mix them up with tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. Okay, the hand is carpals, foot is tarsals. All right. Naming the bones, let's name the proximal row first. So there's four bones in the proximal row. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, and pisiform. Okay, now let's flip it around. Anterior view. Scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, and pisiform. The pisiform overlaps the triquetral bone, as you can see there. All right, that is the proximal row. Here's the distal row of four. Trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate that has that hook of the hamate, as you can see there, hook of the hamate. On the posterior side, Okay, working from thumb to pinky, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. Okay, so thumb is digit one, digit two, digit three, digit four, digit five. So name them using digit one through five. Do not say thumb, first finger, middle finger, and so on. Okay, use digit one through five. So if you're naming this bone, that would be metacarpal one, metacarpal two, metacarpal three, metacarpal four, and metacarpal five. The thumb has only two phalanges, the proximal and distal phalanx. All the others have three, proximal, intermediate, and distal. And then you name them also based off the digits. So like if it was this one, that is the fourth digit intermediate phalanx. Okay. So make sure that if these are marked on a test that you uh, accurately name them. Now I will give you the entire hand. So you'll have the whole set. I'm not, I'm not just going to take one little bone and put it on the table. You'll, you will have the whole set.